If you are new to taking care of your financial needs, you may think that you don't need savings, but anyone a few years older than you can tell you that you're wrong. You always need savings. Why? Because life has emergencies, and most of them need money to fix it. If you don't believe me, just ask your parents. Financial emergencies often come from instances such as unexpected car expenses, books, or maybe your computer fried. How about when you lose your phone, or did you drop it in the toilet? How about the time when your roommate needs to get bailed out of jail? You laugh, but it happens. You may even experience a loss of income due to illness or even unexpected changes at work. These things happen. If you have a little bit of savings, you can use it to take care of those emergencies without wrecking your budget, racking up your credit debt, or going hungry. Ideally, you'll want to build savings to three to six months of all your expenses. But let's be realistic. At this point in life, having one to two month buffer is a great start. Of course, your expenses change over time, as does your ability to save. So you'll have to calculate that number for yourself as your situation changes. Be sure to include housing, utilities, debt, obligations, insurance, transportation, and food. Here's how some modest numbers add up to your savings account. Quick Math states that saving $10 a week equals over $500 a year. That's easy to accomplish. Save $15 a week and you're at $780 a year. Save $20 a week and now you're over $1,000 a year. You can see how this adds up quickly with a little effort. While we're on the topic of savings, remember the old adage, a penny saved is a penny earned. That means that by saving the money you already have by looking for value and shopping carefully is the same as earning more money. In the end, it's in your pocket rather than traded away for purchase. So pay with your own money first whenever possible. You may get to take advantage of cash discounts, but you will never go into debt if you're spending cash. When the money is gone, it's gone. There are many ways to save money, and while we're on the subject, don't gamble with it. Gambling is not a reliable source of income because it's set up so the house always wins over the long term. As a student, you can lose more than your rent money. Your education might be in jeopardy. Gambling is against school policy and is illegal on school property. Don't risk the consequences that come with it. Do yourself a favor and just avoid gambling completely.